Good morning! It is about 11 o'clock in the morning and we are in Japan getting ready to walk the Kamano Kodo Trail. And we chose the Nakahechi route. So today we caught a bus to Takahiri Oji. This is where this is where we're at right now. Let me show you. There's the visitor center. The bus stop is across the street there, and now we are walking across this bridge um, to begin our trek. Uh, it's been quite a journey so far. We had a plane to Japan, and then a train to um, Tanabe, where we spent the night, and then Yes, this morning it was a series of um, a shuttle from the hotel that we were staying at and then the bus. So yeah, it's been uh, quite a journey so far, um, but it's beautiful here and I always love coming to Japan. The people here are just so incredible. They're hospitable and polite and uh, just so eager to help. So. Let's go check out the visitor center. We are starting from here and then we will be walking up through there and then we will come down uh, this route here and end up at that final shrine. So along the way we will be seeing these um, sh uh, shrines and our first one is right across the street I believe or in a little, little, little short walk. Okay so here we go. <laughs> Um, I want to show you this is an Oji and um, they are located throughout the course, throughout the trail. Um, they are subsidiary shrines to the main shrine in the area. Um, so yeah, here we go. <music> Houses. They have really narrow but steep stairways. Well, that's sort of what this feels like. These are definitely, this first part is definitely very challenging. We've only gone, I think, a kilometer and a half or something like that. And um, we have three more kilometers to go, um, I think. But, oh my gosh wasn't expecting this. So uh, yeah, note to self, get familiar with the elevation gain next time I do something like this. I think part of me didn't want to know. <laughs> I think that was my rationale.
Okay, well that does it for today. Um, it was a pretty challenging walk, I'm not going to lie. It was pretty much straight uphill for quite a bit of it. Um, beautiful and pretty comfortable. Um, it is winter now, so the temperatures were a bit colder. Uh, we got into town and there was this cute little van that was selling all sorts of food. So we picked up lunch, had some um, sushi and an apple, and then just hung out for a while. Um, one thing about the accommodations here is you can't check in till three and they're pretty firm on that so we just kind of had to hang out for a while fortunately there was this nice indoor place um, in the town here a uh, public place with a public restroom that we could just hang out at for a while so that was nice um, when we got to the accommodation this is a little um, guest house or rather you might want to think of it like a b and b um, the hostess was amazing. She was just a doll. She was in the kitchen cooking us food and she prepared this incredible meal for us. I was just blown away. And then um, with her broken English, she gave us instructions on what to do tomorrow. Apparently, we'll be cooking for ourselves tomorrow morning and then we just leave the house. Um, so yeah, we're up for another adventure tomorrow. It's about eight miles to our next destination, and I hope it's not too much of um, climbs and hills, but I think, I think that's pretty much what we're going to be running into for the next few days. It's just a bunch of um, hills and mountains and that sorts of thing. Um, but it's freezing outside, and um, right now and so we are pretty much tucked in our little bedroom here um, we're sleeping on these futons on the floor and in the living room they have this really neat thing it's a table with a heater under it and a big fat blanket and so you sit at the table and, on these futons and you just put your legs under the table and they get all warm it's nice and toasty under there so i kind of like that whoever designed that is a genius um, but yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for following along and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.